Welcome back, everyone, to another Downward Day. And today, I'm here to just plant my flag in the soil of what is undoubtedly going to be one of the most historical moments in the history of online content creation. So I'm recording this shortly after the debut of Fish Tank, the new reality TV show live stream interactive experience from the mind of longtime banished content creator Sam Hyde in association with his protege, Jet Neptune. Now, this is a project I've actually been following for quite some time. Its origin goes back to as far as a year ago when, on his podcast, Sam Hyde brought up the idea of creating a reality show called Hell House, where the objective of the show was basically pitched as getting a bunch of anti-social people together in this Big Brother-style reality show, and basically just tormenting them for several weeks on end. And at the time, it was believed that this idea was thrown out there kind of just as food for thought, kind of just as an interesting hypothetical. But oh no, the uh, the inner machinations of the Candyman actually went through, put up the money, put in the effort, and made this idea a real thing. Hell House has become real, now under the name of Fish Tank. And <laughs> thus far... It is pretty much as advertised. It is pretty much the Looney Tunes insanity that was first speculated just a year ago. So as a follower of Sam and the MD crew, I've been following the production of this show from concept to very real execution. And man, going into it, I was hyped. But after seeing the real thing, after seeing just how well it has been implemented, I can really say that this is probably going to be something you're going to want to tune into. Not even out of any sort of intrinsic appreciation for the content being supplied, but more so that you're probably not going to want to miss out on a piece of history. This is not just history in the making for content creation, for online content. This is history in the making for the entire concept of mass media. After turning on this show and tuning in to the live stream for just a few hours, I am just beside myself at being unable to look away. This is just some of the most gripping content I have ever witnessed. I'm recording this, of course, just a few days after the Creator Clash convention in Tampa, Florida, where I got together to meet with a bunch of my fellow YouTube creators and with the Fish Tank premiere just a few days away at the time, I remember telling lots of people that this is probably the most excited I've felt out of any online event in the past couple of years. And thus far, I can truly say that the hype has not just been realized, but it has been exceeded. This show is set to take over everything. I mean... I've already speculated that within about a week, this is probably going to be as big as something like Twitch Plays Pokemon. I mean, right out of the gates, within a few hours, the stream reportedly had up to 15,000 concurrent viewers. I would not be surprised if by the end of the weekend, we are seeing viewer numbers in the millions. That is not an unreasonable outcome at this point. This show that they have created is beyond compelling. It will be the next big thing, whether you like it or not. If you have not heard of Fish Tank up until this point, you had better be prepared to not stop hearing about it for the next six weeks or however long it takes for the show to reach its conclusion. Now, I'm well aware that there are many people out there who are rather skeptical about the show. And I understand that by its very nature, it's not going to be for everyone. I mean, the entire ethos of the show is rather mean-spirited. And to enjoy something like this, I must admit, you're probably going to have to have an acquired taste. And yes, while the overall theme of the show is going to be rather dark and sardonic, it really hasn't stopped a lot of other media from picking up a ton of steam. You know, it seems like almost everyone can be drawn in by morbid curiosity, and that's, that's sort of what this show is. It's morbid, and it drives curiosity among the audience by seeing just how bad things can get. 
I think that is one of the main compelling factors for the show at this point so early on. We don't know what's going to happen. We, we don't know what exactly these contestants have in store for them. And while at face value describing it that way does make it seem like something very mean-spirited, there, there's also there's something else to it. it. It's a little more complex. There, there's a few more intricacies going on. I mean, thus far already, as a cultural event, battle lines are starting to be drawn. Sides are being picked. And while I feel like many people's first instinct are to mock and deride the contestants who were, let's face it, were pretty obviously selected for their rather eccentric and strange qualities, there's an undeniable heroic factor at play here. These people are going through the gauntlet. They are our modern-day gladiators in postmodern society. They will go through hell in the project formerly known as Hell House, and they will come out on the other side stronger and braver. And while our initial instincts may be to make fun of them and treat them as pariahs, uh, I'm, just, I'm just starting to sense something deep down. Deep down, people are really starting to root for these guys. I mean, th these people will come out of it having genuine fans. I'd like to think that something a bit deeper and more profound about the human experience will end up driving the engagement of the show. While people may tune in for sort of the freak show, the Ringling Brothers Circus, they may end up staying just to see how the story turns out. To get to know these people, these people we once thought were strange and unapproachable, to get to know them and follow their story and see them overcome some of the most absurd challenges that probably any reality TV show has ever concocted. I think that is something we will start to see as the series progresses. Thus far, I've also seen a lot of people skeptical that the show is actually anything new or innovative. The big comparison is obviously Big Brother. I've seen a few people say that this is just Big Brother but worse, Big Brother but with a lower budget. And that's where I'm inclined to disagree because... We really haven't seen anything like what this show is trying to do. I suppose for the uninitiated out there, I'm obligated to express what is truly the main gimmick behind the show. And that is the factor of audience interaction. The audience can pool money together and pay to sabotage the contestants. They can make the house hot or cold, cut the power to the house, take away contestants' beds. This creates a completely unpredictable and ever-changing obstacle that the contestants will have to deal with, which is something that you certainly won't see in a far more controlled show like Big Brother. And of course, that's not even mentioning the obvious fact that Big Brother is on network television and has to adhere to several standards and practices. It is truly worth noting that Fish Tank is independently funded independently hosted, does not rely on having to appease advertisers, having to appease any sort of network-backed venture funding. For a project of its scale, it might be the closest we've ever gotten to true creative freedom by the hosts, by the directors. Where really the only confines they have to abide by are those of the law, just not doing anything literally illegal to the contestants, but outside of that, the sky is the limit. There are no standards and practices. It really, really opens the door of your imagination to say, what exactly are they capable of doing? What, like, what is just legal enough that the sick and demented creators of the show are going to subject the contestants to? It is morbid curiosity. It is high drama. It's uncensored, unafraid, unrestricted. And couple that with the fact that the audience can play a role in dictating the outcome of the show. In actually going in and seeing their individual contributions directly affect individual contestants. This is a truly unique experience and I believe you'd be mistaken in writing off the show as just a discount Big Brother. Because it is really a lot more dynamic and interesting than that. Thus far already, by the viewers of the show, there's been a ton of speculation over just what exactly they can do with audience sabotage. Over just what tools they're going to be given to mess with the contestants over the course of the show. It's currently believed that the selection of sabotages, or fish toys as they are called in the show, 
is just scratching the surface of what's going to become available to the audience throughout. Obviously, since we're at the very beginning of the show, you can't pull out all the best stuff immediately. You gotta kind of start out with a baseline of simple options while the audience and contestants are still getting used to the show, still getting warmed up. And later on, several weeks in, that's when you turn up the heat. That is when you escalate things to absurd levels. A big idea that's been floating around is the potential for the audience to deliver text-to-speech messages into the house or possibly deliver them to specific contestants of their choice. I've heard the idea thrown out there of what would happen if Twitch streamers just start live reacting to the show and having their audiences crowdfund donations so that they can help or hinder a contestant of their choosing. When you really think about it, the level of interactivity is just going to be brilliant. And that's what I feel like is going to drive this show to mainstream attention. To have this level of audience participation in a broadcast this high profile with this high of a budget, it's unprecedented. I can't think of anything like it. I think uh, several years ago, Jerma did his uh, dollhouse stream that had similar components to this. But um, Fish Tank, Fish Tank just takes that to a whole new degree. Eight contestants, eight unpredictable people. You guys better strap in because we are going for a ride over the next six weeks. I have not felt this way about an online event in quite some time. You'd probably have to go back to the GameStop revolution of 2021 to go back to a time where I felt like something was this much of a huge unifying event. And it hasn't happened thus far. It has not yet broken through to the mainstream, but my God, my God, do I believe this thing is going to be huge. It is going to be the most exciting and innovative piece of entertainment to come out of the internet in years. And this isn't an advertisement for the show or anything. I'm not on the fish tank payroll. I'm saying this out of FOMO for the rest of you. Even if you just try it out for five minutes and tune into the stream for just a little bit, you will look back on it decades from now as being a part of history. We are watching, by and large, what is the closest we have ever gotten thus far to The Truman Show. This is really, really what I think the potential of this program is. It truly, truly feels monumental. It feels like one giant leap for mankind in the world of content creation. And that is really the part that intrigues me most. I mean, Sam is a controversial guy. A lot of people don't like him, but you must admit he moves the needle. And this is really why I admire his body of work. He moves the needle and he pushes the possibility of what content can be forward. And right here, right now with Fish Tank, I believe we are witnessing a giant leap in people's minds of what is possible with content, what is possible with streaming content on the internet. And I guess the main reason I'm recording this right now is to sort of share my excitement with all of you. I am excited. I don't know if I've ever been this excited for any piece of content on the internet. I was very intrigued at the idea going in, but seeing the execution thus far, seeing how much effort they are putting into this product, it is going to be a sight to behold. I spend a lot of time, especially on this channel, complaining about stuff that sucks, stuff that's mediocre and lame. And that is honestly the experience that I have personally had while dealing with most types of media. I think it's about time for a little change of pace with this video. I think it's time to give credit where credit is due. This is exceptional content that's coming out. This will undoubtedly... I, I've, I've failed to see a version of reality where this does not break into major mainstream attention. I just have the strongest gut feeling that this thing is going to break new ground in ways that we may not even comprehend yet. And just like Neil Armstrong, I am planting the flag. I am planting a flag saying that I was there. It is really not often that something this bold and innovative comes to fruition. So... No matter your feelings about Sam, I always just say you appreciate the content. I've always been an objective content guy, and I can truly say that this is something 
you're not going to want to miss out on. For many of you, this is probably your very first time hearing about Fish Tank, but I guarantee that it won't be the last.